hello and welcome to my channel again so today I'm just going to show you something simple on Excel how to create a drop down um, it could be a yes or no drop down for example it could be a um, red amber green rag status um, it could be uh, a list of requirements like in progress closed um, not started for example so I'm just going to show you yes or no I'm going to carry on from the spreadsheet that I had from my previous videos. Um, so this is just basically a shopping list of um, Christmas um, Christmas dinner, I guess. And it's got the prices, quantity and the total. So in this column, I'm just going to put um, um, purchased, if I've brought it already or not. And I'm just going to put yes or no next to it. So we know that if I've brought this already or not. So as you can notice, it's going overlapping over two, two columns. And I don't want that. I don't really like it. I like it to read easy. So if you just go to home and wrap text, that will literally just fill the box up. Um, and I'm just going to align it so it's in the center so it looks a little bit more appropriate. Now here, I'm just going to want to put a yes or no for each one. So basically, um, I know if I've purchased my turkey already and if I've um, still got to buy my um, sausages and stuffing, for example. So all you do is select one of the fields. And the easiest way to do this is go to the ribbon, go to data, go to data validation, data validation. And this pop-up comes up. So all you need to do here is select from allow to list. And just here, all you need to do is just put yes, comma, no. You can put anything else you want to. I just need a yes and no field. And just OK. And now you can see all of a sudden you can see this arrow next to that box. And if you click it down, you can put yes or no. So if I select yes, it will stay as yes. And if it's a no, you haven't purchased it yet, you can leave it as no. So what I want to do is I want to carry it down all the way down. Now you've got two ways to do this. You can copy and paste it all the way down. Okay, or if you just see that plus button, you can actually double click it and it goes all the way down. And if you've purchased parsnips, you can change that again to yes, for example. And that's it. So that's just to show you how to do a yes and no drop down box in Excel. Simple as that. If you have any questions or comments, please comment below. And uh, thank you for listening.